Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Last time we built up this, uh, quite frankly, ridiculous um, air system that we've got here. I don't necessarily think it's working as well as I want it to, but you know what? Uh, we're just going to have to hope that it's uh, going to work out well enough because if it doesn't, things are going to go downhill. So basically, the oxygen system, it's not an oxygen system, it's just an air pumping system actually, uh, that we built last time is supposed to bring the CO2 from this side of the colony up through a pipe out into this giant room here so that ultimately um, the terrariums can take the CO2 and turn it into oxygen and then we use this pump over here to pump it all the way over to the top up here so that um, the uh, this area actually gets filled up with oxygen as well uh, currently it's, you know, it's going. I'm not sure how, how well it's going, but it, it's definitely, we're working on it, okay? That, that's just it. We're working on it. We'll get it soon enough. Um, basically, just people need to get to this particular construction before any of this is actually going to fill up with breathable air. Because right now it's like, eh. It's like, eh, breathable. Eh, there's pretty toxic stuff like all over the place, but you know, we, we don't need to worry about that immediately. It'll be fine. Um, we mostly need to worry about the fact that it's mostly unbreathable. Uh, we also need a gas filter, which I think we're working on. Are we working on that? What, what research are we even doing right now? Yeah, we are working on the um, gas filter system so that we can filter out uh, the CO2 from the oxygen that's going through this pipe and send the oxygen back up here so that we don't, you know, take all the oxygen out of this left-hand side and uh, have the CO2 continue on this way, which is going to be a complex uh, air system. But you know what? I think Frogboy knows his way around it. Frogboy, you feeling okay? I don't think Frogboy is feeling okay. I mean, I wouldn't feel okay if I had to run in place like that forever. That would be kind of terrible. I mean... Pretty sure I'd start the revolution immediately if that were the case, but I don't know if Doris can create a manifesto yet. Can you? Stats? Oh, she's got learning five. The manifesto is in progress. Doris is going to take over. Saul? I think it's Saul. It is Saul, right? Yeah, it is Saul. Oh, man, Saul. Dude, you think you're at an all-time low right now? You're not. Like, it's going to get worse for you, actually. Jeez. Yo, what happened to these airlocks? Are they broken? hope they're not broken because we kind of need them to remain in place that might just be a little uh no yeah that appears to be a thing on like all of them i guess that's a little glitch don't worry about it don't worry about it it's fine it'll be okay so long as it's not actually like killing us we don't have a particular problem with that ah uh, it's just a matter of actually getting this air system done before somebody uh suffocates over here and you know getting this air deodorizer because actually that's pretty I mean, I know we want to get the air system done, but can someone finish that air deodorizer? Because that place is filling up with just completely toxic uh, death. I don't even know why. Do we have, like, someone with chronic flatulence or something chilling out in there? Doris, do you have flatulence? You better not. I don't even know. How do we check? Oh, there we go. She has gastrophobia. No, she doesn't. I don't think she has chronic flatulence. I don't think any... Does, does Frog Boy... Like, I know Frogboy's amphibious, but does he also have flatulence? That would be bad. No, not the carbon dioxide. I want the Frogboy. Frogboy? Let me click on you, Frogboy. I can't click on Frogboy. Oh, there we go. How do you feel? No, he, he doesn't have chronic flatulence either. Strange. Strange. It does... All of the polluted oxygen seems to have built up in this one little area which is kind of terrible but I, I mean I'm sure we'll figure it out soon enough somebody should uh, fill up that air deodorizer soon enough hopefully no anybody gonna do that I'm increasing priority get to it fill it with sand we need to fix that oxygen so that people aren't dying anymore there we go now it's working and that should take in the polluted oxygen around here turn it into good oxygen and hopefully they won't all get sick because if frog boy got sick that'd be the worst i mean he's already basically uh permanently sick because he's a stinking abomination with webbed feet that's disgusting but um 
You know, if he actually, like, I don't know, died of the flu, I would not be happy about that, I'm gonna tell you. That'd be pretty bad. Pretty darn bad. What is this? Atmospheric pressure too low. Well, you know, we're trying to work on that, okay? These people are being very, very slow about building these gas pipes. You know? Honestly, we don't actually have all that many people when you think about it. We've got basically no one, actually. Jeez, we need a new duplicate. When are we getting... Oh, hey. Well, speak of the devil. Um, who's, who's gonna join us? Let's see. We need someone who can build. So... Strength. Does strength increase building? No, it doesn't. I'm pretty sure construction increases building. Of which no one here has. I mean... Bertrand. Mr. Bertrand is um oh he's a yokel he can't perform research oh that's that's actually okay i'm fine with that he's got divers lung you know he seems like the dude that's gonna be uh that's gonna be with us mima is one named mima which is terrible and um she's really good at digging and only slightly good at anything else and this person's only good at medicine which is the worst so uh bertrand uh welcome to the colony i hope you feel okay uh, Saul is currently in charge. That won't last long. Don't worry. Um, he'll be out soon enough. If you could uh, build up this gas system, that'd be amazing. If you don't, I'm gonna ex execute you. Uh, yeah. That's uh, kind of how it works around here. Just uh, just immediately getting you, uh, getting you a bit of an understanding of what happens around here, just so you know, you know? You can't just uh, be without knowledge of how society works, and that is basically how society works at this point. Jeez, we're getting there, we're getting there. There's a lot that still needs to be built, but we're getting close. And how far are we from the research? Actually, quite a ways, we're only about halfway through. Come on, Doris, work faster. I know that you're like dying of not having any oxygen, but that's not an excuse to not use your brain power. Your brain only needs like, I'm going to guess most of the oxygen in your body. So, I mean, it's no excuse. Come on. Ah, uh, and we really need that pump working. Probably should have stuck the pump in here, but, yeah, you know. You know, I'm going to argue that it's too late to change that and uh, pretend that that's true. Come on, people. Let's go. We're getting really close. Like, really darn close. Do we have power going to there? Because we're going to need some power. No, we don't. Great. And it appears that uh, Bertrand, Bertrand is currently sleeping on the ground. Which, uh, thanks everyone. Thanks for being team players there, helping out Bertrand. I mean, I guess really the pump system is more important than getting Bertrand anything that he wants. Because basically Bertrand won't want anything if he's dead. And he's going to be dead if we don't build the pump system. Or at least, I mean, some of these people are going to be dead. Probably Saul. I mean, Saul's going to be dead anyway, because Doris is going to just absolutely wreck his face. Dude, we should build an execution chamber for Saul as soon as the revolution takes place. In fact, speaking of an execution chamber for Saul, uh, we need to finish this first. We can't put new building jobs on until we've completed the pump that is required to keep the colony surviving. Even if that construction just so happens to be something that's going to execute Saul, who deserves execution, it's probably for the best that we, uh, you know, take our time and build the systems that are actually going to save the colony instead of absolutely fooling around. But, you know, Saul is going to die, just saying. There we go. Come on, gas pump. Send that oxygen up there. That's going to fix everything. Okay, now that that's done, as I was going to say, uh, we can uh, start building a death chamber. Because death chambers are my favorite. Let's get an airlock. Okay, we're going to get some tile. And uh, this is basically going to be a death chamber. That is how you build a death chamber, people. It's very simple. We're just going to have Saul suffocate until he dies. Which I guess you almost die immediately upon suffocation because suffocation is basically the act of dying because you don't have any... Look, that's, that's all technicalities. We're going to kill Saul in here. Doris has uh, written the manifesto. The manifesto basically says two things. One, Saul is the worst, which 
is true. Um, and secondly, that um, Doris is going to be in charge. Uh, Frog Boy is mostly the one who's going to be in charge of act actually executing Saul because Doris doesn't want to get her hands dirty, basically. You know, that's how it goes. Oh, man. Saul, you don't even know what's coming to you right now. You think you're so safe. He think He's like, I'm the leader of the colony. Nobody's going to hurt me. You can't hurt the leader of the colony. You need me. The reality, Saul. Nobody needs you. You're about to get wrecked in the face. Ugh. Jeez. Why is... Huh. It kind of seems like the air is getting caught up in these pipes in this gas bridge. Because I don't know about you, but it's coming out a lot more slowly than it's going in. But I think it doesn't really matter, because overall I'm pretty sure that's starting to fix the whole um, oxygen problems that we have here. Which is brilliant, by the way. That's perfect. That's exactly what we are looking for. Very nice, everyone. You seem to have done a great job. Have we, have we finished the death chamber? No? We need to get that done, people. I want Saul dead this episode. We're not waiting. Doris has already written the manifesto. She shouldn't have to make amendments to it because if she makes amendments to it, um, it's probably gonna go from a very nice revolution into something terrible. Ooh, we got the research. Nice. Research done. We now have access to gas filters. That's perfect. How does this work? Oh, I see. So we've got output intake and now ah, we've got double um, output one input okay so if we build that there that should allow us to filter out the oxygen in this pipe to go right up into that vent which should be great are we gonna build that let's go do it people do it you better prioritize that gas filter because currently this is going to fill up with just death. And I don't know about you, but nobody except for Saul should be seeing death here. Anybody? No? Want to build this? No? Anyone? Bea? You building it? You better be building it. I swear to goodness, it's your guys' job to do this. It's all you live for. Oh, it's done. Oh, it's done. Uh, Saul? Saul, where are you? Saul? Saul, stop eating! Move to here, Saul. Come on. And uh, we are going to... Uh, he's going to go in. Halt the youth. No, no, Saul, no. Very bad, Saul. Get back inside. He doesn't want to die. For some reason, Saul just doesn't want to die. Okay, Saul, no. You're moving to here. Oh, uh, we can't. We need a bigger room. Saul won't stay in there. If we disable that, yeah, that's going to close the door. Jeez, Saul, come on. You need to be in there. Oh, man, I will note that this thing is completely unhooked up like nobody's business. Uh, what do we got? We got gas pipes. We're going to go in there. We're going to get the uh, oxygen going in there. CO2 going out of there. And I think we need some electricity. Yeah, we do. Okay, there we go. That should work out. Gas output all. Filtered gas should be just oxygen. There we go. So we're going to filter out the oxygen. It's going to go up to the vent. And then we're going to have all of the other gases, whatever they happen to be, go out into the... Uh, algae terrarium chamber and that should create an air system good enough to basically keep us alive forever hopefully because currently we're actually doing a pretty good job of uh, dealing with co2 it's all basically in the same place which is exactly what we want we don't necessarily want it to be gone we just want it down here so the algae can do their thing with it and man this is going it's going pretty nicely, actually. I mean, outside of the fact that Saul has somehow managed with his tiny intellect to circumvent our attempts to assassinate him, um, this is working out pretty nicely. Ah, oh, Saul. Saul is not going to be easy to kill, is he? 
How are we gonna get him? How are we gonna get him? Oh, I know how to get him. Oh, do I know how to get him? Huh. Well, we could. We could put his cot. Can we get people up? Have them wake up in the middle of the night and, like, do something? Because that'd be great. We could put Saul's cot in a death chamber and then close the death chamber. That is an option. It's kind of a costly option, but... You know, whatever's gonna be necessary to execute Saul has to get done at this point. That's not Saul, that's Howard. You can tell because Howard has a facial feature. Um, eyebrows. Saul has no facial features because he's the worst. And Bertrand has little, uh, little eyelashes, which is kind of weird, Bertrand. That's unusual. Oh, check that out. That is our gas filter, apparently. Get it done, gas filter. There we go. So it is functioning perfectly, and it is, in fact, sending all of the oxygen straight up. Uh, we also need way more electricity than we currently have. That is a small issue. When I say a small issue, I mean it's a pretty big issue. Um, we're not going to be able to run our systems if we don't have enough oxygen. Guys, come on, let's go. Um, please build a manual generator as soon as possible because I can't even... We're gonna need so many people running this stuff. We need some electricity research. What are we gonna do? Where's the electricity research? Power regulation? Combustion? Yeah, that's what we need. We need a coal generator, boy. I mean, that's gonna be hard, but you know. Jeez, this pipe network is ridiculous. It's amazing, like the best, but it's ridiculous. You know, we could also build, oh, uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna build a filter over here too, you know? We're gonna deconstruct this. And this is gonna be a new filter, and we're gonna have all the CO2 that gets pumped in through this gas pump to head out. And it's gonna be great, trust me. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that you're probably saying, dude, oh, what the heck? What is the button for rotation? Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, which side is uh, the gas pump supposed to be on? That would be the right one. Okay, no, wait, this way, there we go. Um, as I was going to say, you may say that this is a ridiculous waste of resources and we really don't need all of this to exist. I will tell you, uh, you really, really need to, um, open your mind to new ideas because, quite frankly, this is amazing. Oh, we can't build a bridge there. That's gonna cause some problems, isn't it? Uh, so if we can't build a bridge there, how are we supposed to get this done? I guess we're gonna have to cycle through to the gas pipe, deconstruct some of these gas pipes, and build it out farther. So that we basically have a gas pipe going out here and into there so we can build a bridge that isn't overlapping with the ladder, which is currently what's stopping us from actually building the gas bridge because I guess um, it hates us, basically. Hates us so much. There we go. And then we'll have, wait a minute. We didn't even need to do, we don't even need a gas bridge. Oh, I did all that stuff for nothing. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so, we can just connect this directly in. Like there's nothing stopping us from just going like that. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm the worst. Like just slap me in the face. Why don't you? I mean, don't actually, cause that hurts. But, I mean, I basically deserve it. There we go. Now we're going to filter out uh, CO2. Uh, carbon dioxide. And I guess we can do contaminated CO2. Oh, we can only do one? Okay, fine. It's, it's going to be CO2. And what's rock gas, by the way? Steel? How is steel a gas? What the heck? I don't even know. I don't know if any CO2 is even gonna go through this gas filter, but just in case, we don't want it coming back into this area. So that gas filter is gonna make sure that we get the right stuff to the right position. And uh, we're also gonna make more mush bars because these guys don't get anything nice. Get wrecked. Uh, okay, manual generator, please hook up to everything. And uh, yeah, okay. Uh, life is continuing. 
We've built our... Uh, I'm just gonna put it at ridiculously complex gas system. Way more complex than it probably needs to be, but you know what? Mm, gonna do it anyway. It's good enough. Um, <laughs> we also attempted to execute Saul. Unfortunately, Saul has managed to circumvent all assassination attempts as of yet, making him probably the most successful leader we've ever had at... at um, not being assassinated. I mean, in saying that, we've only had one leader, and it was Saul. But, um, he still gets the moniker of most successful at not being assassinated. Stinking Saul. We're gonna get you eventually. Is that Saul? That's not Saul. That, that, nope, that's Bertrand. That's Saul. We're gonna get you eventually, Saul. Doris will lead this colony with, um, Woodrow, uh, the fish boy. Frog boy, sorry. As our great second-in-command. I swear, I'm watching you, mate. Anyway, until we eventually manage to execute that fool, thanks for watching, and of course, as always, enjoy the rest of your day.